The South Africanist is a collective movement campaigning for a world that is passionate about positive community impact. To be labeled a South Africanist means to be someone who lives this philosophy and inspires others to do the same. We spent some time with the founder of the movement, artist, designer, and creative director, Jesse Yende. It's Awala. Welcome to my humble abode. Jesse Yende is a boy from Soweto, born to two amazing parents, Albert and Ruth Yende. Brought up in Soweto, but now based in Cape Town. I'm married to Geleto Yende. We've got two kids, Sintiwe and Buhanzo. Professionally, I'm a graphic designer, I'm a creative strategist, and I'm also a street artist. But my career started when I used to be an artist selling artwork on the side of the road. The people that used to buy my artwork, they used to have this comment, like, your work looks so graphic. And at that time, I didn't know what that word meant. From selling his art on the street, Jesse went on to study graphic design, which opened his eyes to opportunities and set him on the path to founding The South Africanist. The motivation for me to start The South Africanist comes in the form of a question. Are you the reason South Africa is amazing? Are you the reason somebody loves to be in South Africa? Are you the contribution of the positive that this country has? And if you're not sure, what are you doing? So that question stuck with me for quite some time, and that's when the South Africanist came. You know, I was like, I'm a South Africanist, and everything I'm doing, I'm doing for SA. So it's time for us to be what our country needs us to be. And I want to go out there and sell South Africa to South Africans. This passion for giving back and impacting others inspired Jesse to create a vibrant, colorful mural at the Beth Uriel Home for Young Men. Be Motu or Grand in the Chemin's Cup. It's a message that got inspired as soon as I stepped into the yard of Beth Uriel. This place is not only a home for boys, but also a home for hope. When I was here, I decided, you know what, how do we bring that hope across? How do we bring it to life as an artist? The South Africanness is all about positivity. And positivity is well received when you live it. So I had to come up with a concept, and this concept presented to the boys, treat them like clients, and present to them and say, you know what, today I'm coming to you guys with this concept of shining light into darkness and transforming your space into a very colorful and a lively space. So they accepted and they were very excited about it. And they joined me later in bringing this whole thing alive, which is one of the things that I appreciate as a South Africanist, our success relies heavily on collaboration. So here is another positive behavioral impact from the creativity side to the real life situation. Collaboration is at the core of the South Africanist movement. And for Jesse, being able to work alongside his wife, Keletso, is a privilege that makes the job much easier. The South Africanist is a creative movement campaigning for positive community impact using the principles of design thinking, behavioral science, and positive deviance. Essentially, what is the skill that you have? What's the little that you have? And how are you using that for the greater good? So the South Africanist was our way of answering that, using our skills for the greater good. Earlier in the year, they launched a campaign called 67 Shades of Hope, creating a puzzle to raise both awareness and funds to help prevent gender-based violence. We partnered with female artists and each of them provided an artwork that spoke to a specific aspect around gender-based violence. And we produced these artworks into puzzles, which we could get into the homes of all South African nests so that it could help them as a conversation starter. Sharing a vision for positive change, Jesse worked with Capitech to bring life and color to a state-of-the-art computer lab at a community aftercare center in Franschhoek. Capitech donated this amazing computer school in the form of a container. So my collaboration with Capitech was to actually not just pimp the container, but also bring life and bring what positive diverse design thinking and what is about and how it then also influences behavior. So we did a workshop with the Capitech staff and we together with the kids. And then the workshop inspired the painting basically that has translated into the zhuzhing or the pimping of the container. So the container then became an expression of not 
not only what the kids feel, but also what all of us came together, you know what I mean? So Claymore, Computer School, Capitech, doing life better, Iowa, it was nice. <laughs> A positive deviant is somebody who's always looking for something better, optimistic. So places like Aita, for me, is a physical structure of a positive deviant translated into a personified thing through the kids. So they turn and inspire the kids to be positive deviants because when the kids go back to their communities, they go back with that spirit, you know? So for us, a South Africanist is somebody who is a positive deviant, who always believes and always want to actively and proactively get involved in the things that make South Africa great. For Jesse, an essential part of being a positive deviant is bringing a smile to the face of everyone around you. Smiley hat is a healthy hat, and a healthy hat is a positive deviant. A smile changes the mood, changes the space. The signature with the hat is like every space that I've involved in or whoever I've came across with, I must always leave a smiley hat in them. Because then a smiley hat allows them to carry on that experience and impact others around wherever they go in their homes, in their communities, or wherever. Jesse was inspired by the great work done by Capitech with NPOs like Gift of the Givers, Food Forward, and the Solidarity Fund, and by the many staff members who selflessly contributed their time and energy. This led to the creation of his painting illustrating these life-changing moments of hope. During the lockdown, we collaborated with them in order to tell the story comprehensively of all the wonderful initiatives that they were supporting in order to spread hope in South Africa during that time. So we decided to actually, let's depict that in a painting. And then this painting basically becomes like a visual representation or a celebration of what Capitec has been doing. So that's our way of showing also appreciation of what Capitec is doing for our nation since it's doing it for SA, it's at our bottom of our heart. We're looking for more people to partner with us and join us in the movement. I mean, there's 58 million of us, there's nine provinces to be reached, there's more homes to be reached with all our different campaigns. So we're basically looking at more ways in terms we can have more impact, but we cannot do it on our own. So we definitely need all South Africanists to join the movement. Yeah, be the South Africanist, be that which your country needs you to be. Do it for your Dorpi, do it for your hood, do it for your Gassi. Do, do it, it for, for SA. SA. Yes, I'm a South Africanist and we're doing this for you, 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 you. <laughs> It's passionate people like Jesse and Kelezo who inspire us all to become true South Africanists. Be what your country needs you to be. Use what you have and give what you can. Your little can go a long way. Capitech clients stand a chance of winning your own conversation starter with a 67 shades of hope puzzle and bag by the South Africanist. Head over to our social media platforms and enter on the competition post. T's and C's can be found on the insidersa.co.za.